Welcome everyone to another video, it's uh, Jira Bro, and we're gonna be talking about the issue security. Now, when it comes to the issue security, uh, plain and simple explained, you basically uh, put in the issue security if you want to hide some of the issues from basically the users that these issues aren't meant to be for. For example, you have, let's say, your HR department or your business apartment that has all of the information when it comes to, well, when it comes to pays, I mean, when it comes to salaries uh, within your organization. And you want to keep this confidential. So this is why you actually want to use your issue security. Because in here, issue security schemes allow you to control who can and cannot view the issues. They consist of number of security levels which can have users slash groups assigned to them. Actually, it's even much more than only like users and groups. It's more, it's uh, like uh, more with a project role. There is also as an assignee, there is also a project lead and everything else. So to access this, you go to your settings, you click on issues, you scroll all the way down, you will see issue security schemes. Now we're gonna add an issue security scheme right here and we're gonna, we're gonna name this restrict. Now we have this name the restrict, now we need to have the security levels as well. Now the question is, how will we want to name this security level? So we're going to call this business only. And I'm going to click add a security level. Now when I add the security level, on the right side you will see the actions. What you want to do is you want to actually uh, click on add. And now what we have are these options right here. So it can be either added for a group for a uh, service project customer, which uh, is the portal access, group custom uh, field value, current assignee, reporter, single user, project role, project lead, application access, uh, user custom field value. Now if I go, for example, for a project role, I have an option to choose a project role. And now I have for the administrators, and I'm going to choose the administrators. And I'm going to click on add. So this is actually the first step that we have. Now we need to apply this to our project. So we're going to go for the project and I'm going for my engineering scrum project. I'm going to go for the project settings. And within the project settings, we want to choose the issues. Within the issues, we want to choose the security. Now here it says issue security is currently not enabled for this project, but we are going to change this. We're gonna click on actions, we're gonna click on select the scheme, and we're gonna click on restrict. Now it says this project uses aggregated data. Insights and reports use aggregated data to show, show summarized data regardless of specific issue permissions. To see who can access these data, check who's been granted the view aggregated data permission of this project. For now, we're not interested in this and we want to click on next. I'm going to click on associate. I'm going to acknowledge this. And now what we actually have is the security level that's being applied and it says here business only. Now, if we go back to our project in here and let's say I have uh, this this uh, code API from scratch I have this which is actually pretty uh, pretty um, great now what I want to do here I want to search for something it's gonna be called security level now if you can't find security level try checking the issue views collapse sections and your project settings for the issue layout page hidden uh, hidden fields so now we're looking for something that is called the security level. So now we want to search if there is actually security level in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for our project settings. We're going to go for our issues and we're going to go for the layout. Now for the layout, we, uh, we're going to be focused on these four issue types. And now if we actually look closely, 
and we're gonna have security level is basically not here and we cannot add it uh, which is actually pretty understandable that basically well we cannot add this now the thing is if you actually go and create click on create now what do we have in here so we want to find our field here and we're looking for security level field so it says is not present because you don't have the they have the set issue security permission now how do we actually do this so this is something that can be that can you can actually face so you go for permissions and we're looking for now we're gonna find this set issue security and as you can see the set issue security is only granted to Atlassian Adams project access this will actually this project will, will retire so now we need to change this and I'm gonna edit the permissions in here now to set the issue security I'm gonna say update this and this is going to be for the administrators so now this is done and we're gonna go back to our scrum now we have this option and it says in here to set the security level you're gonna click on this and now we're gonna click on business only so what actually this means so since we selected the project role administrators now this issue is go only going to be seen by the users who have the project role of administrators others won't be able to see this issue on their board there is one thing the second thing is if we go to create you're going to see this field right here security level and now for the security level I'm going to choose the business only and I'm going to say confidential so now what this means what is the difference in here the main difference in here is that when this issue was being created we have selected the security level of business only this is during the creation this the previous example was actually from the issue that was created and we applied the security level so previously it was seen by the other users but now automatically is not being seen by everyone so that is the difference that there is okay so that is everything that you need to know about the issue security. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.